We're asked to determine the interval of continuity for the given function. We have f of x equals cosine x times the square root of the quantity 25 minus x squared divided by the quantity x squared minus four. So first we know division by zero is undefined. So the first condition for continuity is that x squared minus four can't equal zero. But there's also a second condition dealing with the square root function. If we take a look at the basic square root function here on the right, the set of all inputs or domain would be x greater than or equal to zero, meaning the number under the square root can't be negative because if it was, it would be an imaginary number, not a real number. So going back to our function, the second condition is that 25 minus x squared must be greater than or equal to zero. So now we'll go ahead and solve this first equation for x. We can either factor the left side as a difference of squares or we can add four to both sides and take the square root of both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and add four to both sides which gives us x squared can't equal positive four. And then we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. Just remember, we are going to get a positive and negative solution because the square of a positive and the square of a negative does result in a positive. So we take the square root of both sides of the equation and add a plus or minus on the right. Solving we have x can't equal plus or minus two. So this is the first condition for continuity. And now we need to solve the quadratic inequality 25 minus x squared greater than or equal to zero. For review, the first step is to solve the related equation which is 25 minus x squared equals zero. Let's take the same approach. Let's add x squared to both sides, which gives us 25 equals x squared. And then we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. And again, we're going to have two solutions. Notice we have x equals plus or minus five. But again, we're not done here. We're solving an inequality, not an equation. So for the next step, we sketch a number line. Plot five and negative five. And because the visual inequality is greater than or equal to, because of the equal part, we plot closed points on negative five and positive five. And now we need to test the interval on the left, in the middle and on the right to see which intervals satisfy the original inequality. So let's test, let's say x equals negative six, x equals zero, and x equals six in the original inequality. So if x is negative six, we would have 25 minus the square of negative six greater than or equal to zero, which gives us 25 minus 36 greater than or equal to zero, which is negative 11 greater than or equal to zero, which is false, which indicates the interval on the left is not part of the solution. I'll put f for false. And now let's test zero. Well, if x is zero, we just have 25 greater than or equal to zero, which is true. The middle interval is part of the solution, and then testing positive six, 25 minus the square of positive six, again, is going to be negative 11, which we know is not greater than or equal to zero. So the solution to the quadratic inequality is the closed interval from negative five to positive five. But we need both conditions to be true, so we need to eliminate positive two and negative two from this interval to find the interval of continuity. So we'll sketch one more number line. We'll go ahead and show where zero is. We'll plot negative five and positive five as closed points. And because x can't equal plus or minus two, we'll plot negative two as an open point and also positive two as an open point. The interval of continuity is a closed interval from negative five to positive five, excluding negative two and positive two. And therefore the graph of the interval of continuity would be this interval here. Let's also write this using interval notation. We have the interval from negative five to negative two, closed on negative five, open on negative two, union, the open interval from negative two to positive two, union, the interval from two to five, open on two and closed on five. This is the interval of continuity for the given function. I hope you found this helpful.